Well, here we are again, sharing life, delivering truth, giving hope, AM 1110 and FM 107.9 K-Wave. I'm Bob Shaw. And before we head into the weekend, let's hear one more devotional filled with hope and encouragement on Come Together Live. We're also streaming live on Facebook and YouTube, so please join us there. And leading our devotional this morning, Pastor Fish Figueroa from Real Life Calvary Chapel in Lakewood and his buddy Bruce. Good morning. (laughs) (laughs) Good morning. How was everybody this morning? <clears throat> so good and happy Friday, Pastor. What you got? Amen. Yeah, I just wanted to share um, out of Psalm 40 this morning, and I'm holding this little guy, Bruce, that we rescued uh, just right after Christmas, and um, I'm just reminded of of this passage. This guy was uh, found in a construction site um, behind a uh, refrigerator. He was all beat up and everything, and we went down to the animal shelter, and um, uh, there was a sign on his crate that said caution, uh, cause he's a mean little sucker. And, um, so they warned us all about him. And my wife said, I, I want him because those are the kind of dogs that are going to turn into cool little dogs. And, uh, when we got him home, he, he bit us a couple times and, um, but now he is warmed up and he's just a sweet little guy and he doesn't leave our side. He's always close to us. And I'm reminded of us when, how the Lord found us. We had, we didn't have a caution sign. Maybe we did, depending on what our past was like. But, but for the most, uh, for the most part, we had a, a sign that said sin. Um, we were covered in sin. We were all beat up by this world. And, um, and the Lord said, I want him or I want her. And he went and he grabbed us. And he saved us and he changed us. And I like what Psalm 40 says. He said, I waited patiently for the Lord and he heard my cry and he inclined his ear to me. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of a miry clay. And he set my feet upon a rock and he established my steps. He's put a new song in my mouth and praise to our God. And many will see it in fear and will put their trust in the Lord. Every single one of us have been pulled up out of that horrible pit, out of that miry clay. Those that have given us, given our lives to Christ. Every single one of us have been changed and transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. And the Lord has promised that when we cry out to him, he'll hear us. We have a good God that loves us and he hears us. And so my encouragement to you this morning is, number one, don't dwell on your past. 2023 is, it's old news. You're in a new year, you got new promises, new things that God wants to do. Don't dwell on your past, it's forgiven, it's forgotten, move on. But more importantly, he says that he took him and he set his feet on a solid rock. And he put a new song in his heart and praise into his God. And many will see it and hear and put their trust in the Lord. And so now that you've been saved, now that you've been changed, now that you've been renewed, worship the Lord. May, may, may songs of praise come out of your life when you're walking around and just doing life. May you just be worshiping the Lord and thanking the Lord and praising him. May you be declaring what God has done. May you be sharing with people how the Lord has changed your life. And, and, and then may the Lord use you to lead people to put their trust in him. And you can see my wife, she got this little bow tie and put it on Bruce and cleaned him (laughs) up and everything. He literally had dreadlocks when we got him. So he's, I I call him Bruce Wayne now. He looks like Bruce Wayne from Batman, but he's a cool little dog. And I'm thankful for for the Lord and and just uh, what he's done in my life and how the Lord has just um, changed all of us, changed my wife, changed me, my family, just doing wonderful things, people in our church and and I know everybody can can see that in their own lives as well. So the lie of the enemy is to keep you to looking back, yeah. keep you dwelling on your past and all your failures. And don't he, he's pulled you up. Stand on the rock and declare it in Jesus name. A lot of us have a problem with dwelling in the past, <clears throat> Pastor. So mm-hmm. we'll we'll talk about how to break out of that on, in the second half of Come Together Live. So can you pray for us? Yes. Father, thank you, God, for this day. Lord, thank you, Father, for your promises. Thank you for the work of the cross. Lord, it's complete. It is finished, Lord, and that you have changed us. You transformed us. You renewed us, Lord. You've made us whole. 
You made us into new creations. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. And so, Lord, may we just worship you and declare that and tell of you. And, Lord, and may we lead many into your kingdom, especially in these last days that we're living in. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, the beauty of streaming live is that we can take this conversation over to Facebook and YouTube, have much more time to talk about this. So please join us there for more. And here on K-Wave, Pastor Greg Laurie cautions us that an almost Christian is not a Christian at all. It's coming up next on A New Beginning. Looking at Bruce now, I could never imagine that he was a mean little dog with dreadlocks. <laughs> but that's, we could take so many lessons. It's such a good analogy because, you know, dogs, they're, they're more resilient. They're more prone to look towards now and in, in the future than they are in the mm-hmm. past. And look at him now. He's just a docile little yeah. dog that sticks by your side. But we as human beings have a problem with dwelling in the past. And God's, even if you become a Christian, if you keep dwelling in that muck and mire, you keep living in that junkyard of memories, God's not gonna be able to use you and transform yeah, you. I, I mean, I think, I, think, I think God could use you, but it'll be limited, not to, you know, right. not to the extent, yeah, not to the extent that he wants to use you, you know? Um, at the same time, too, you're 100 percent right. It's like we 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 like to carry on, a, carry around a lot of baggage. You know, we like to we like to for whatever reason, and we just don't let it go. We we hang on to things, and and some people, you know, when they're single, they bring that into a relationship and they just ruin everything. And mm-hmm. um and 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 that's just what what happens with with the Lord. You know, you take all this baggage, and 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 rather than you know, letting it go, you bring all that baggage into the relationship with God and you hang on to it and you don't let it go. You don't just give it over to him and 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 it ruins your walk with him. It it messes everything up because you're looking to the past and he says, Hey, I've I've set you free of all that. I've I've yeah. delivered you of all I've cleaned you up. I've forgiven you. Just let it go. You know, and um and that's that's the problem. Yeah, a lot of people they they tend to look back and and I'm always reminded of of uh, Lot's wife when when hmm. in in Luke it's very clear it's this one little scripture one little sentence says remember Jesus says remember Lot's wife and if you know the story right she looked back and she was destroyed and looking back is not a terrible thing when you look back to see what what he's brought you from you know but when you look back and you dwell on it it destroys you. Yep. It, it does nothing for you, you know? And so Paul says, you know, speaking of, of, of his lineage and who he is and his bloodline and where he came from and you know, all these accolades and achievements and all this stuff, Paul says, I haven't attained anything. But one thing I do, I forget those things which are behind and I press toward those things which are ahead, the upward call of Christ. Yep. And so we, we, we've got to, you know, put it behind us and press forward. Eyes on Jesus, man, just keep moving forward. Yeah, we don't wanna make ourselves, um, you know, willing slaves to the past. That's just not what we wanna do if we wanna move forward. And another thing we do is we look back on those days as if they were the best things in the world, you know, the Mm. partying days, the drinking days, the drug days. And and we brag on them as Christians as if those were the greatest times ever. And we're lamenting the fact that they're gone. Yeah, I always like to tell people, oh, yeah, yeah, those are great days when you were on your way to hell. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you were on your way to hell. There's nothing to rejoice about in yeah. those days. So, yeah, we need to, you know, people need to stop that. You know, I, I pray, I pray against anybody, anybody that, that glories in those sinful days or or anybody that, you know, wants the desire to go back. Just keep in mind, you were on your way to hell. Yes. He pulled you out of that horrible pit, out of that miry clay, and he set your feet on a rock. So don't glory in the past. Don't don't give Satan any more glory anymore. Um, give God the glory today and every day of your life. Amen. And I didn't mean to laugh at that. It's just the way you said it. <laughs> I mean, going to hell is, yeah. is, is nothing funny. It's not funny at all, yeah. at all. And if you dwell yeah. on that, like, like those were the best days in the world, well, you know, where are you gonna go from here, right? Right. Yeah, it's not a it's not a good perspective to have, you know, and so uh, Lord, keep us with our eyes fixed on you and moving forward and 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 trusting in you, God, and and just 
Becoming more like you, Jesus. Yep. And that's it. That is it. Take a lesson from Bruce, Pastor Fish Figueroa from Real Life Calvary <laughs> Chapel in Lakewood at reallifecalvary.com. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Bruce. Appreciate it, man. All right. God bless you guys. Always a blessing to be on here. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And come together live with us on Monday morning, God willing, back with more hope and encouragement from the Word at 825. Please join us then. Until then, K-Way family, have a great weekend. Let's not dwell on the fast. Uh, the past. Let's look at our present, live in the moment, and consider our future. God bless you. Have a great day. Peace and joy.